The Blessed Virgin Mary is the Saint Immaculate, greater than all the others, and the Queen of Heaven. Her prayer is the Rosary, passed on by pious tradition, which is recited to ensure her protection and to entreat her merits toward the eternal paradise promised by her Son. In Gravicentibus Malis praises the Rosary when it says, Kings and princes, however burdened with most urgent occupations and affairs, made it their duty to recite the Rosary. This mystic crown, then, not only is found in and glides through the hands of the poor, but it also is honored by citizens of every social rank. And we do not wish here to pass over in silence the fact that the Blessed Virgin herself, even in our times, has solicitously recommended this manner of prayer when she appeared and taught it to the innocent girl in the Grotto of Lourdes. Thus Mary herself proposes this prayer, and has used it to work great deeds as at the Battle of Lepanto. There are many instances of military victory given by God through the power of the Rosary, but ultimately, the Holy Rosary besides not only serves admirably to overcome the enemies of God and religion, but is also a stimulus and spur to the practice of evangelic virtue, which it injects and cultivates in our souls. Above all, it nourishes the Catholic faith, which it flourishes again by due mediation on the sacred mysteries, and raises minds to the truth revealed to us by God. Many popes have praised this simple prayer. As Supremi Apostolatus Officio states, referring to Leo X's remark that it was instituted to oppose pernicious heresies, or Julius III's explanation that it is the glory of the Church. Ultimately, the document urges that the faithful should cling more and more to the practice of the rosary, to that devotion which our ancestors were in the habit of practicing, not only as an ever-ready remedy for their misfortunes, but as a whole badge of Christian piety.